हेलो पीपल वेलकम वन एंड ऑल टू जो जोस लर्निंग क्लब Welcome back once again to my channel Jojo's Learning Club and today I'll be introducing you to a very interesting topic so what is a sliding rule or what is a slip stick or what is a Russian schieber Russian schieber is the German word for sliding rule you can see that I have drawn a figure of what is a sliding rule this looks like our standard ruler right but it is not used for drawing straight lines or to measure length or something like that these are actually mechanical analog calculators and they are used for calculations this was actually built in 17th century by william outred and his colleagues based on the works of logarithms by john napier so actually the first sliding rulers were based on logarithmic functions and it was helpful for other people in the field of science and engineering to do logarithmic calculations just by using a sliding ruler okay and this was used until 1970s until the evolution of electronic calculators and scientific calculators so once the use of scientific calculators came then these are rarely used for other calculations and i just want to introduce you so what is a sliding rule so this is like this is one of the kind of sliding ruler and actually i borrowed it from my colleague just to show you how people um, used to do these calculations yeah so this is a sliding ruler you can see that in this sliding ruler there are different scales i have drawn only two scales in it and these are not exactly correct values i just wanted to draw a figure and make you understand what is a sliding ruler and from this you can see that you can see that there are different scales going on and these scales are used for different functions and there are both sides of these sliding rulers are used in one side there is written about 6 to 7 functions and the other side is also used for another different another 6 to 7 functions too okay and in general sliding rulers are not used for addition or subtraction which are easy right they are generally used for multiplications and divisions and also for other functions like logarithmic functions how to take roots squares exponents and logarithmic and also some trigonometric functions so this made their life very much easy so and i will show you an example on how to use these sliding rulers okay you can see that in the picture they have a slider in between the scales you can adjust this and take values accordingly also there is you can move this place according to the scale there is a black line in this one you can see that there is a black line right for with this you can point accordingly to the position which you wanted to calculate and you can get the values from it for example there is a x over here so if you wanted to get the value of log x you have to keep the value of x at position 10 then you can calculate the value of what is a log 10 so if you adjust the position of 10 over here and calculate the the upper value at log x then you will get the value of what is a log x okay or for example if you keep the value of x at 2 then at the value of x square the just at the top of it you can see the value of what is x square for example if you keep at 2 then from the upper scale you can get the value of what is a 2 square or for x cube again 2 cube so similarly this was the main function of it as it worked as a mechanical analog calculator and i'll show you more and how to do some calculations okay this is just an introductory video to make you understand how people used to do calculations before the evolution of this electronic calculators and electronic or scientific calculators yeah so i'll show you an example also first let's take let let us take the x value you can see that there are different values here right log x x cube x square x square 1 by x x if you keep the value of x at position at position i'm going to show it log x right so i'm going to keep it at position 10 see i as i said you have to take these values at according to this black line which is over here so this is a like a slider you can move it and you can keep your position at position of x for x okay when you keep at the position x you can see that the the upper scales also give you values of values of x when at for example when you keep the value of x at 10 then for to calculate the value of x square you just have to look at this black line and go to the scale of x square so 10 then the value of 10 square is 100 again if you take x cube then you can just go to the scale of x cube and find it is written here as 
thousand. So you can readily get the values as a calculator, uh, like for the values of different x values, right? So this was the main application of it. And also log ten. If you keep a ten, then you will get the values of log x. When you keep the, you can see see that the scale value of log ten is one. See. This is what the example of it. And also you can do other functions like multiplication, division and so on. For that I'm going to shift the other part of the slider and I'm going to take sine and x and so on. Okay, I'm keeping it now. I want to get, let's say I want to find what is 12 times 5. When you wanted to get like do multiplication, you can see that in the scale of x you can see that one listed in the above and also one in the down so it, this main purpose is that you can move this slider and you can use like see keep the position of one in the top of the scales here so that one and two comes as vertical position so now it is a 12 and you wanted to find what is 12 times 5 12 times 5 you can see that you keep it at 5 position exactly if you you have to make you have to you keep it this exact position to get the accurate values yeah so one and two should be placed exactly each one to one each other okay so now it is exactly at position one is at the top and two is at the down place right and now move your scale and you want to find 12 times 5 you can see that it comes exactly across 6 so 6 then it is 60 how do you take that because in this scale 1 to 2 is the numbers from 1 to 10 then 2 onwards it is like 20s then the 3 over here determines the 30s and 40s 50s 60s and so on so if you want to find let's say another number i want to push this and find the value of what is 13 times 13 times 5 13 times 5 you can see that the down scale is 6 right and the upper scale is 5 so from that you can make the approximation that it is 65 and this is how you do multiplications in sliding ruler okay so i just wanted to show you what is a sliding ruler so that's all for today's video and i will come with the next video on another some interesting topics okay let's see you over there and bye bye